Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with ESNE. And in this video segment, we will cover the hardware overview of the PanelView Plus 7, which uses the software called Factory Talk View Machine Edition. Panel views have evolved through their lifespan, but the newest series is the PanelView Plus 7, which is due to release a Series B revision, which will update the OS to Windows 10 IoT. The PanelView Plus 7 has two primary options. They have the standard option and the performance option. Shown is the standard option, which was designed for smaller and simpler applications. The standard panel view has a few limitations, such as it cannot connect to more than one controller, and it cannot exceed more than 100 screens or 500 alarms. The performance option limitations are only based on the memory and CPU usage. This means that there are no hard limits on the screens, tags, alarms, or controllers. So each application could potentially hit a different limit based on what is needed. The standard option has a single or DLR Ethernet ports, but the performance option always has DLR ports. Also, as long as you are using version 10 firmware, both options support serial communications when using the pre-made USB conversion cables. This comes in handy when you have to connect to a legacy PLC that has not yet been upgraded. Physically, the performance units are a full metal frame whereas the standard units are plastic or a polymer. Both units also use the new style retaining clips, but they are different between the two options. Also, both units will soon only support 24 volt DC. Currently, the performance option supports 120 volts AC, but that will be discontinued with the Series B release. Finally, before we jump into the hardware setup, ESNE offers online training through YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for how-to applications and other automation content.